what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. We are back with the nationally syndicated entertainment critic, and he's our people. It's Ryan J. Uh -huh. Hello. Hi. Get that little plan. That'll that make sense in a movie minute. Coming yes. up in just uh -huh. a bit. Um, so first, uh, first movie coming out this weekend, Shotgun Wedding, and this is on Prime Video, rated R. This is, and it is a rom-com action adventure starring Jennifer Lopez and Josh Duhamel. Josh was cast after Ryan Reynolds was originally going to play the part. He decided to produce instead. Then Army Hammer stepped in, had to back out mm -hmm. after his controversy. And I think that Josh Duhamel is the perfect casting for her. I never imagined them together, but I thought they were great. Molly and I actually screened this together the other night. Molly, I, this looks good. I want to see this. I thought I'm it was very cute. I, I, you know, if you want a deep movie, you know, it's not always plausible the right. the, the plot that yeah. but I love the characters in this. It's so fun. I J Lo goes through like torture on mm -hmm. this this <laughs> it's journey. in the Philippines. Yeah. On this journey, but she looks amazing. Yeah, it's almost like as she goes through torture or as she gets more roughed up and her dress falls more apart, she gets hotter in a exactly. way. What's the whole premise? They're just getting married or Right. What? So they are um, on a destination wedding. It's a oh. destination wedding in this island of the Philippines. It's very much like a modern day romancing the stone because pirates hijack their <laughs> wedding. Jennifer Coolidge plays his Got mother it. and you know she's con right continuing her hot streak after the white lotus and just we're so conditioned to laughing when we see her and then lenny kravitz plays her ex-fiance and listen <laughs> you want to throw a wrench in at any couple have yeah. an ex show up and let it be like a bona fide hottest rock star in the world yeah exactly it's like so much setup there. i know yeah. and there's a fun <laughs> twist in this i won't give it away yes but i think the movie's got a great little you know, uh, like twist and Absolutely. the plot. It's fun. Yeah, and, and they deal with a lot of issues. So as fun as it is, and as much as there's a great adventure, it, there's really great character arc as well. And I just love how they are able to stay hot and like be cool and like, <laughs> it's amazing. So I'd say stream yeah. it. It's, yeah, it's, did it's you a, believe them as a couple, Molly? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. I bought it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think he's very attractive, and I think she's gorgeous. I yeah. like, I like the way just, uh, just on like aesthetics. I think she looks better with Josh Duhamel than with Baffleck. Oh, really? Say, Sorry, Ben. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you might be right about that. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. that I think about that. Okay. Yes. Okay. What about you people? Because you're our people. You people. You people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is another rom com, and this is very uh, distinctive in tone and in. Uh, story and in uh, the editing even is very interesting. It's co-written by, produced by, and co-starring Jonah Hill. I love Jonah. Yep, and okay. uh, his co-star is Lauren London, and she's fantastic. Okay, mm -hmm. what's the theme? This is all on Netflix too, mm -hmm. so you can watch this one at home. Right, this one is, and, and, and his parents are played by Julia Louis-Dreyfus and David Coveney. Her parents are played by Nia Long and Eddie Murphy, and it's <laughs> about- I uh, love Eddie Murphy, and so does Tiff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a Hilarious and great because he doesn't do like typical Eddie Murphy. He's really stretching himself. Uh, here as an actor. Uh, 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 <laughs> Is that your impression? Uh, yeah, that's his that's laugh. Not as good as your Kristen Stewart impression. <laughs> true. All right, true. but um, but it's it's funny. It, it's basically the clashing of cultures between black and white families, Jewish and Muslim, and it just has so many smart, funny, relevant to today's atmosphere, like those foot in your mouth moments where you're like meaning well but saying the most offensive thing unimaginable, imaginable. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great. I laughed out loud a lot in this movie. Aww. And that's Netflix. Right. And the director, can I just mention? Yes. Kenya Barris co-wrote, and he's great with this, did some really unique things with the editing. His next movie is a remake of The Wizard of Oz. Oh, what? Ryan. Yeah, have, you, have you seen that movie? I've heard of it. <laughs> it's on my watch list. But stream You People. You People is great. That looks on good. Netflix. I love Fun. it. Fun. All right. The last one here is Shrinking, and this is on Apple TV+. And this is a new TV series comedy that is developed by and starring Jason Siegel as a therapist. <laughs> and he's a recent widow, and he is a widower. <laughs> and right? The guy behind and, you, <laughs> yeah, he looks great there. Right, and he basically is, um, so hurting that he decides to rip the band-aid off with his clients and instead of actually being an ethical therapist starts telling them exactly what to do instead <laughs> of bringing out of them what they think they should That's do and stuff. That's hilarious. It is hilarious but in reality watching the show it was very sad. Oh. I was oh. sad watching this. I oh. felt really bad. I didn't laugh. Harrison Ford is in it but yeah. barely. Very underused uh, and I just felt like I didn't even want to watch the second episode which I did Oh yeah, because I was going to say, sometimes I feel like they take like one, two, three to get into. Absolutely, absolutely. So I did watch the second episode. Both both episodes one and two are out today and then okay. consecutive Fridays. Harrison Ford has been 
been busy. He has he's been. He's in 1923, too. Sure, yes, he is. <coughs> and he's, gonna, he's got a new Indiana Jones coming out this year. But Michael Urey popped up in episode two. I liked him. But overall, I felt like it didn't hook me. I didn't mm. care. It was a little too tepid. You know, TV's landscape today, there's so many great TV shows yeah. to watch. Our yeah. friends are always recommending we have, we'll never have time, you know, so skip it. I don't think this is one Whoa. to add to your list. Okay. Oh, bummer. Yeah. All right. Thanks All right. for saving us time. Sure thing. I appreciate yeah. that about you. All right. Well, you can follow Ryan J on social media. He's at Ryan J Reviews. And for his full entertainment reviews, you always got to go to his website, ryanjreviews.com.